loves welcome back to my channel today is a credo beauty hair care holy grail video i'm going over everything from shampoo to deep conditioner to styling products everything you need for beautiful luscious silky hair and personally i have hair that's fine dry color treated damage so if you're suffering from any of those things you will find products that'll be helpful for you but i have products that are helpful for every single hair type and they're all non-toxic so you're absolutely going to love this video in the words of Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. Let's get into all the details of this Credo Beauty Holy Grail hair care video. This is video has been such a long time coming and I'm really happy that you're here to experience it, but I wanna tell you a little bit more about my hair and my hair struggles and all the details so you get a little context. I have to be honest, my hair is my number one insecurity. I have the thinnest, finest, most delicate hair of anyone and you know, some things are really nice about being Norwegian and <laughs> I have a lot of other things too, but it's that very like Nordic vibe where you're tall, your eyes are blue and you don't have any hair. And it was so funny going to Sweden last summer because I just noticed a lot of people had fine hair like me. So just, there's good and bad. And it's the one thing that I really just don't like about myself and you know, we can't have it all. So what do you do when you have this kind of hair, literally non-existent hair? If you've been following me for a long time, you see my Instagram stories, you see any luscious hair photos, um, it's because of this. I clip in my hair whenever I want full hair, but my hair is just not full. And that's because genetics, number one. Number two, I had extensions for over two years because before my wedding, I stopped taking birth control and half my hair fell out, which was lovely. Plus I was bleaching it all the time. I had really blonde hair, believe it or not. I will insert a blonde photo. And it was just really damaging to my hair. I love being blonde. Blonde is my favorite. I want to be blonde again. But before I can make that happen, I need to get my hair healthy. So that's what I'm working on right now. And then when I do go blonde, I just have to do it in a way that's very, very delicate. So this is the real me. Very little hair. But with the right products, I find that it doesn't look dry and brittle like it normally does and it gets a little more body. I used a hair mask. I used a great shampoo and conditioner. I used a serum spray, a hair oil, and then a mist that gives me texture, like a sea salt mist. And last but not least, I use a styling cream. So all those products really, really help give me some sort of hydration, texture, volume, all of those things. And they are all non-toxic. You can find them at Credo. And let's go into each and every one. So starting with number one, the shampoo. Obviously, I'm not going to show you me naked in the shower using the shampoo, but this is from a brand called Reverie, and I discovered this from Credo, obviously, but I really, really love the shampoo. It smells really nice and light. It almost has a little bit of um, kind of like a masculine minty scent, if that makes any sense at all. And I love this shampoo because it cleanses my hair and scalp, but it doesn't over dry my hair. And I only wash my hair once a week because again, it is so delicate and fragile and I want those natural oils to kind of build up. So this is great. It's not overly stripping. This says it works for all hair types. And really all the products that I'm sharing today work for all hair types, but I don't have thick hair, I don't have curly hair, so if that's you, some of these products might not work for you, and that's just the honest truth of it. But Credo does have a great return policy. If you want to send it back, you always can. Okay, oh good. Sometimes I'm like, am I just talking? Am I recording? I'm recording. I also love this brand because it focuses on hair restoration, which is what I need. All of the essential oils in there, the fatty acids, are gonna restore your hair and it does not weigh my hair down at all. And this one has neroli. I don't know if you're familiar with the scent of neroli, but it has like just a very luxe, expensive scent to it. So really love this shampoo. Then just to keep it aesthetically beautiful in my shower, I like something that matches I love black and white. I try to keep all my design features that color. So in the shower, there's no different. Like, is there potentially a bright blue bottle of shampoo that I would love? Yes. Am I gonna buy it? Absolutely not. That's just not who I am. So this is a Reverie conditioner and it's a light cream rinse conditioner, which means it's not gonna weigh your hair down. And when you have fine hair like I do, the last thing you want is a really, really heavy conditioner. This conditioner, again, it has that same neroli scent it has a little bit of sweet orange which is really nice to kind of play up the citrus notes and 
it's nice and thick i hate a really watery runny conditioner that falls out of your hands so it's nice and thick you don't have to use a crazy amount everyone's different as per their hair but it makes my hair feel really hydrated and moisturized without weighing it down i mean this hair is so light if i use a conditioner that's heavy my hair is going to be stick straight and completely stuck to my head so love this i love that i can share the combo because the combo is that good together sorry about that i just got off the phone with nate we may or may not have some exciting home updates so stay tuned on instagram and with the videos because i'll be sharing all the details so cross your fingers for us as per usual. I really, really hope this all works out. Well, let's get back to hair care. While we're on the topic of conditioner, I wanna to talk to you about the deep conditioning hair mask that I have been absolutely loving that I'm sharing right now. This is from a brand called La Tierra Sagrada. I don't know if that's the right pronunciation, but it is a very hydrating, moisturizing repair hair mask. I do this once a week before I wash my hair. I leave it in for about 10 minutes and then I hop in the shower and do the rest of my shampoo, conditioner, and hair care routine. And it is amazing. It's transformative. If you have dry hair, no matter what hair type you have, this is a great mask option because if it hydrates without weighing down my hair, no matter what hair you have, it's gonna be really helpful. It also says it's great for color treated hair, again, like mine, that's been bleached, which messes with the integrity of the hair, and then there's dye on top of it. So it says it reconstructs and restores the hair by hydrating and moisturizing the hair. So in essence, it's just giving you more of a whole strand of hair, which I really have found that it does. But it smells like Santal. It's very woodsy, very earthy, but in a really good, cool way. If you like Santal, if you like sandalwood scent, I think you're really, really gonna like this. Even if your man has longer hair, like Nate's hair is really long now during quarantine, and I'm gonna have him try this because his ends are getting a little bit dehydrated and frizzy looking. It also says it's really good for coarse hair type. So if you do have coarse, curly, kinky hair, like this is a great product for you. And it has great botanicals in there. So many things, just so many seed butters, seed oils, it has, what else? Yeah, it has Palo Santo oil, citrus, bergamot, yarrow leaf, which is really hydrating. Just some really, really beautiful things. Highly recommend because I'm recommending all these products are my favorite I've ever tried. Moving on, I'm trying to do this in the order that I apply them. So then we have this serum spray style by Josh Rosebrook, and I put this in my hair when it's wet. And what this does is it gives me a little bit of volume, a little bit of structure to my fine hair. It also has a little bit of a heat protectant, which is essential. And I have never found a hairspray that I like in the non-toxic space because they're all aerosol, which really isn't good for the environment. And most of them are highly toxic. Why am I always worried that it's not recording? I'm definitely recording. What's wrong with me today? I think I'm just all over the place because of this house stuff. We went to go look at one today and now we're dealing with things and I'm a little out of sorts, but I'm also here with you. So yeah, this serum spray style, it says it's supposed to help with frizz and it's supposed to help smooth the hair. And I find that to be true. I have a lot of hair growing back after the extension debacle. And so I have a lot of kind of like flyaway hairs and this helps to really put them in place without weighing my hair down. But you can use it for so many different things. So it says, what else is it good for? It's multifunction spray that creates smooth, defined, weightless finish for all hair types and textures. And it does. You just put it on towel dried hair and you can do like eight sprays, depends on how much hair you have, kind of work it through with a comb and you're good to go. Then I apply the holy grail. I hope you heard that neck pop because it's just that good. This is the Mighty Majesty Fortifying Hair Serum by Ronabot. It smells like a jasmine dream vacation. It's an amazing hair oil. It's really therapeutic. This is like perfume from your hair. And I just do one pump because again, thin and fine. But I work it through the ends of my hair when it's wet. And then I'll also do a little extra when it's dry if I feel like my ends just need a little bit of a polish. And it works so, so well. The thing about this is it's completely organic, high quality, beautiful, almost prefer perfume grade oils. And it's a little bit expensive, but this bottle will last you a full year if you use it every day and you only wash your hair a little bit or you have fine hair. If your hair is really thick, it might not quite last you that long, but I feel like price per use is so low with this one and it 
is like a fragrance because it's so, so beautiful. Again, from Reverie, we have another product. This is Mar. This is their Sea Texture Spray. They call it a Mediterranean Sea Mist. It's really lightweight. It's not gonna be hard or crunchy. It's gonna give you a really loose, light, beachy wave. And if you have fine hair, you need this. It is so essential for giving you some texture without weighing down your hair. It smells heavenly. It has almost like a, it, it has a sweet almond scent, but it kind of smells like a coconut tropical sweet almond dessert. Smells like dessert on vacation. Like that is the perfect explanation of this product. And all of their products are just really safe on the hair. They're all about regenerating, renewing, restoring your hair. It's not gonna strip or irritate. So this one is beautiful. Ooh, yeah, it also has bourbon vanilla extract in there, so that's why it gives you kind of that desserty smell. And you just want to apply this. You can apply it to damp hair if you know you're going to style your hair right away, but how I like to do it is I usually like to wash, do most of my products, all the ones that I just talked about, then I'll blow dry, sleep on it in the morning. I feel like second day hair is my best hair, where I will curl my hair, apply a little bit of this, give it a zhuzh, and then it holds that beachy texture. My hair is not finished until I have this product in there because otherwise it just looks limp. And I live in California. I love that beachy look. It's my favorite hair look. If you're into the beachy wave, comment down below. If that's your jam and you love it just as much as I do, let me know. Because if you're really into more of like sleek, perfect, more of like a Southern curl that's just pinned straight and perfect, I guess it wouldn't be straight, it'd be curly, but you know what I mean. Just like very polished. Let me know if that's more your vibe and I can do a different hair tutorial on that, but I love something that looks a little bit wild and messy, but also still polished and pretty. Must get. This is the OG, this started it all. This is the Rake Hair Balm, and I've been using this for years now. This is the first rubbery product that I ever got. So it's a really lightweight hair balm, and you just wanna run it through the ends, any flyaway pieces. This is my last step that I use in my hair care routine. And you can use this if you're trying to do like a sleek pony and you have flyaways here. You can use this look if you're doing a braid and you want a smooth little end pieces, anything you wanna do, this product will help you. You can also use it as a men's styling product, like if you and your partner, if you have a male partner wanna share a hair product, they will love this because it's a lightweight hold, but it really does smooth, and it also says it restores the hair and helps support its structure. So, I love this product. These are all 10 out of 10, that's why this is the holy grail. And last but not least, this is the best dry shampoo you will ever use. No joke, I've tried them all. I've featured different ones before that I've loved in the moment. This is the best. From the application, to the color, to the formulation, to the scent, everything is the best. So this is the Kaya Naturals, the Take Sumi Detox Dry Shampoo. First of all, I love the fact, I mean, hopefully you can see. I love the fact that they have blonde and brunette because if you're a brunette, you know most dry shampoos do not work with your hair and scalp. It looks like crazy white powder, everyone can see it, and I use dry shampoo all the time since I only wash my hair once a week. So this is so incredible. It doesn't leave any like cake cakiness, it doesn't get stuck to your scalp, it gives you volume, and you just have to see this applicator. So I'm going to try to do it for you. And as you can see, it gives me even more volume just by adding dry shampoo. So that's a hot tip hack. If you have really thin hair, you can apply dry shampoo like this one at the root and give yourself even a little bit more volume. I know whenever I get my hair cut or colored, my hair stylist always adds dry shampoo because they're just trying to give me some volume. But I'm like, it's okay, it's not you. I just have no hair, so. It's all good, but this does really help. I love this product. It also has Santal, it has sandalwood oil, it also has some orange oil, so it smells really fresh and delicious. And it's primarily rice starch, so it's really natural. You don't have to worry about inhaling it. And again, you saw the little applicator, how it kind of shoots onto your scalp. I find that so helpful versus ones where you're shaking it out because it gives you too much in one dose when you're shaking it versus this is just one pump, has a certain amount of product that goes into your hair. Plus, since it is a little bit brown, it doesn't look white. 
Also disregard the planes, trains, automobiles, dogs barking. I don't know if that'll ever get better. I just live in Los Angeles and it's a little crazy around here. So thank you for bearing with me. But I would love to hear if you have any specific tips, if you have thin hair like I do, things that have worked for you. I have tried some different hair pills. I've tried different scalp treatments. None of them have really made that much of a difference. The one thing that I continue to take that has made a difference for my hair growth is eating or taking collagen consistently. So I do two forms of collagen. I will link them below. I put one in my matcha every day. I take pills and I find that my hair is actually growing a lot more. Like I have so many new baby hairs growing out. So I feel like in about a year's time, this hair down here will be twice as thick. But until then, there's no shame in just clipping in a piece of hair and living your best life and feeling like you have voluptuous hair. I mean, really, who cares? And if you're embarrassed of telling your partner about it, guys don't care, girls don't care, no one cares. It's just what you wanna do and what makes you feel good. And I think that's just a theme for life. It's just do what makes you happy, you know? Just clip in the hair and just move on with your life because I mean, having thin hair is fine. It's not that big of a deal. I actually think it'd be so hard to manage really thick hair. So all of you love listening, watching that have thick hair, you're probably like, oh, I wish I had thin hair so it didn't take me three hours to blow dry it and style it. So we all have something. We all want something we can't have, but I just want you to embrace the beauty that you have and just love yourself for exactly what you look like and who you are because we only have one life. So that's just a, an interesting end, very esoteric way to end the video, but I hope that you give these products a try. They are so incredible. You're gonna absolutely love them. A lot of local brands, a lot of small brands we'd love to support right now during COVID. And yeah, I will have everything linked below, obviously. I will see you next week. I have had a lot of requests for the chemical exfoliant mask. So that is on the docket unless something more exciting comes up for you for me to share with you. But until next week, I love you. I will see you soon.